Here I am hooking up my solar panel. I'm waiting for the battery to arrive. As soon as the battery gets here, I can really hook it up. But when you're monkeying around with them, you have to cover them up so they don't produce electricity before you have all your wiring hooked up. Got my charge controller mounted in a little light switch. I just rewired this antique lamp for 12 volts. Well, I'll tell you, it was a real bear getting wires, old broken wires out of this thing and putting in the new ones. So that's got a five watt LED bulb. Won't draw much off the solar system. And I plan on running perhaps some lights out around the perimeter, see if see what the solar system can keep up with today was another very productive day yesterday or day before i got my solar panel mounted but today i wired up the interior light it's a 100 watt solar panel it was a couple hundred bucks 200 and almost 300 dollars for a 125 amp solar battery the solar system came with a charge controller and it's got one light hookup that you can have come on after dark. So I went ahead and wired this up. I have a 5 watt LED bulb in it at 12 volts. So what a half an amp or something. Um, and then I, well, let's go back in here for a second. I uh, hooked up a light switch, ran a wire outside, ran lighting all the way around on every other post these old uh, lanterns that I had so I've got six of those in the perimeter I only have two of these light bulbs they're 11 bucks a piece so I wanted to make sure that um, they were something that I wanted so I won't order any more until dark I want to see what they look like but uh, they're uh, kind of white and you know they don't really lend to ambiance but um, that's that's where it's at so I'm all wired now I know this isn't related to the solar system but I thought I'd throw it in here anyway because a lot has been going on in the garden I had some problems with my float valves gumming up with uh, sediment from my IBC water tank and so what I did was I added a AquaPure sedimentation filter to it. It was kind of a pain to put in. Um, had to redo all my plumbing. But now all of my water to both raised beds, or both um, rain gutter systems in the greenhouse, the one outside here, and also the raised bed garden are filtered. So it seems to work really great. Um, this drip system seems to be working great, but I'll tell you, the comparison from the raised bed to the rain gutter grow system is unbelievable. These, this tomato had a sister. They were both weaned in the greenhouse and then brought outside. They've been in the ground about three weeks. And as you can see, get a little closer here. I had a little bug problem on this one, but nevertheless, this is the sister plant in the rain gutter grow system. <laughs> the, the growth is unbelievably superior out here. Um, I've built a little, a little uh, tomato tunnel. I'm gonna give this a try. I'm training, training the tomato to go over the tunnel. We'll see how that works out. Um, might be interesting and other than that things are things are starting to grow Sunny has been busy 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 she also got into flowers so there's lots of flowers being grown in the greenhouse and outside of the greenhouse I'll uh, bring you up to speed on that in just a little bit look at this growth Pretty incredible It's just booming in here. Mint mm, mojitos. 
and I got my inverter hooked up now I'm waiting for a delivery today for some warm white bulbs um, I had the 5 volt LEDs or the 5 watt 12 volt LEDs I had two of them I, they're just too neon like so I'm, I ordered some soft white ones the same bulb they're a little more expensive they're about 13 bucks a piece but I can't wait to plug those in today and, and then I'll show you a night shot before I post this video. I also neglected to drain my pipes thoroughly this winter, so everything kind of blew up. My timer blew up, froze. My pipe froze. It took a couple trips to get that thing sorted out. But um, the fence, now before... This is where I grew my herbs, but Sunny loves, she loves flowers, so. And it's all self-watering on a timer. It's all drip. But, uh, and then she actually pulled up some uh, honeysuckle and planted it here. I don't know if it's going to grow or not. And just lots of really cool looking flowers. I just, you know, I dig flowers, what can I say? So she's like, set it up. All right, my light bulbs are in. Putting in light bulbs here, but my hand's too big to reach in there, so I have the perfect source for that. A little Sawney can get her hand right in there. All right, a couple more to go, and we got it wired and bulbed. This is my first view of the new lighting. So... This is the old lighting, which is very neon-like. I'm going to flip the switch here. Wow. So that's soft white, huh? It's not really all that soft, but it's better than neon for sure. Six of them. So, all right, well... I guess we're going to end this video now. Subscribe, like, all that. Had a few Coronas, as you can probably tell. So, all right. Take care. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.